So one of the hashtags that you use consistently that I absolutely love is hashtag Misty So Lit. And so every time I see that, I chuckle because I just love it. And when I think about a black woman being lit, or a woman being lit, or a black woman being lit, I think of black girl magic. What is your definition? What does black girl magic mean to you? It's so much. Right? It's so much. Um, man, it's so much. Historically, we have been the birther of, of greatness, the, the mothers of greatness, excuse me, the backbones to communities, the foundation for this country, this world. We have built monuments and mountains and pyramids and cities on our backs with our children, with our blood, our sweat, our tears. And we have done it all with beautiful hair and full lips and broad noses and melanated skin and pride that comes from knowing that we are the first woman and first children and daughters of God period. And we have still managed to accept and gently de demolish the lies that are perpetuated about us, that we are not the first, that we are not as great and as beautiful and as awesome and as brilliant and as intelligent and as sexy and as sensual and as feminine and as lovely as we are. We constantly tear down the idea that we are too rough or too hard or too loud or too big or too small every single day. And I think black girl magic is living in that. It is saying no when you have your boss say, can you change your hair? It is saying, I rebuke you when you have, <laughs> when you have people ask you ignorant questions. Have you ever been to jail? Do you know anybody who's ever been in prison? Is your family on welfare? If they are, there's nothing wrong with that. But the assumption that we all come from less than or that being from less than makes us less than. Um, so I feel like black girl magic is just living within that, within a system and a world that constantly tries to subject us and to, to hold us down and still flourishing still being our awesome, amazing selves in whatever way we can, still starting businesses. Where is Jasmine at? Jasmine is the most workingest woman I didn't ever met five minutes ago. <laughs> I was like, Jasmine, you wanna do this speech? That's what black girl magic is. And then also recognizing that in each other and encouraging that in one another and holding each other up. I think, you know, as women, we compete in so many negative ways. And it's natural. I mean, I remember being young and my best friends, we used to be like, oh, you like that boy? I'm gonna get that boy. <laughs> <laughs> she don't even know it. What kind of friendship is that? But you had to grow beyond that. <laughs> you had to grow mentally. We all start out somewhere. You know, we all start out hopefully different than where we end up. But that is the nature of, of growing as women. And so being, being, allowing ourselves to just kind of to be who we are in each moment of our lives is black girl magic too. I think we need to have this definition. Don't submit nothing to Wikipedia, y'all. Wikipedia got y'all all wrong right now. Wikipedia will mess up your whole college application. <laughs> Wikipedia is like Simone Missick is 37 years old and is the sister to Nicole Bahari. Don't believe it, lies <laughs> on Wikipedia. Because I got one sister, her name is Maisha. And I was born in 1982. I'm 34 years old. So I'm going to need for y'all to just don't trust Wikipedia. <laughs> Maybe not there, however, that definition is everything. Yes, that's more official. There we go.